So for Retire, at the top of the table over in League 2 with Salford City leading Supreme on goal difference. But what will they be there? After match number 5, we're going to take a look at that and more next. That's right, folks. Back with another prediction video today. We're forward to match number five in this year's League Two campaign, and we'll get to that in just one second. If you're new, where you in? Smash your subscribe button, bang update all things League Two related, Baba Rose related, World Cup related out in Qatar. That's right, of course. All oh, that's for another day. Today, we're talking about League Two as the games come thick and fast. And there is a four way tie at the top of the table with Leighton Orient, Northampton Town, Stevenage joining Salford City at the top of the table. But who will be there at the end of this weekend's action? We'll take a look at it, all of it in a minute. Of course, of course people to the VIPs, they are the patrons, you know who you are. But anyway, let's get in there, of course, to the deep end and have a look at League Two and bring it bang up to speed with these. That's right, it is the, the midweek games. Of course, my picks on the left hand side, the real deal is on the right. And then we'll take a look at how you guys got on with the prediction league, then shall we? Here we go, kicking it all off with Barrow. Goodness gracious me, they are the real bloody deal. I actually went with the one that went for Walsall, who were uh, flying high themselves uh, at the start of the week. But uh, lost. 2-1 uh, lost there to, uh, to Barrow. Of course, up to fifth now. They are in the playoffs. Could they actually do this? I Meanwhile, Colchester United, they did beat Bradford City. Of course, Rovers' uh, opponents in the cup. Uh, I went with the 2-1 win for Bradford City, but I got it wrong as well. Crawley. What's gone wrong with Crawley? 3-2 uh, lost to Northampton Town. 2 what, what, uh, Yeah, I went with a 2-0 win on that one uh, to Northampton. So not too shabby there. So I'll give myself a big fat one-pointer on that one. Crew. Uh, did beat Sutton United 1-0 I went with the 2-1 win myself Gillingham uh, lost to Harrogate Town that's right I went with the 1-0 win for Gillingham Stevenage kept on doing what they, they are doing right now 1-0 win for them they are up to 4th uh, as well joint 11 on points with Salford City and I got that one bang on the nose uh, meanwhile Grimsby um, uh, Grimsby against Carlisle was postponed I don't know suspended let me know why that was I'm not too sure uh, so we move on to the next one Tramway Rovers could only get a draw against Hartlepool United. Uh, goals galore at Mansfield Town, 7 in the end, 5-2 in the end for Mansfield. I'm with a 2-2 draw myself. Excuse me. Suffer did actually beat Newport County 3-2. I'm with a 2-1 win myself. Uh, Swindon Town 1, Leighton Orient 1. Uh, Denting, of course, Leighton Orient's 100% record so far. Uh, they're now just on 10 points alongside Suffer City and the Chasing Pack. And Doncaster Rovers defeat Stockport County 2-1 in the end. And last year, like I said, look at me, the back three there, pretty sexy in regards of predictions. Uh, I got them all pretty much close to the money, if not bang on point. Let's take a look at the table then, shall we? Here you go. Suffer City, of course, 10 points out of a possible 12. Leighton Orient the same. Northampton and Stevenage with Barrow. Uh, I would say the surprise package is right here, right now, this coming season. Down the foot, though, Rochdale and Ultra Trouble, Newport County, Crawley, Hartlepool as well. All uh, let yet to get their first victory of the campaign. Gillingham also struggling, which is a bit of a surprise. Take a look at, of course, this then, which is, of course, the Prediction League. Make sure you get involved with it. Cutty Force League 2. It is free to enter. Get your name in lights. And you can join these guys, of course, who are kicking ass and taking names uh, this past week. Here we go. Well done to the Sheriff. Is a terrible fan. Uh, 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 eight points on the board. Uh, Russell Foss is up there alongside uh, with Chris Welch. Sammy Boy to make up the power trio. Uh, even though there's four of them, if you know what I mean. Though, though Hamza are down there, of course, at the foot this week. Not great week for him. But what about the overall lead? What it looks like in this? Alex Weller leads the charge. Owen A is up there. Russell Frost as well. Uh, familiar names, of course, if you've been around the block here for a few years. Uh, Gaffer Nicholson, Jimmy Watton as well, uh, with a Shane, Shane O'Donnell also in the mix. Uh, is a very, very uh, interesting uh, a Grandmaster foe again with his names. Get your name completely right each time, each and every week. It does make things easier. And we don't get this little problem here with, of course, split so he's technically on 18 points which would see him around about 10th but right now um yeah I, I didn't catch it so we're gonna have to wait i'm not gonna fix it now because time is money and we got to keep on going to the of course match number five we're gonna take a look at those games right here right now and it is gonna kick all off this saturday august the 20th starting with top of the shop there hartlepool gets bradford city is the early kickoff as well over in hartlepool play each other 10 times these two sides 2004 six wins for hartlepool three for bradford and we've got one draw hartlepool though without a win in six now 25 percent for, uh, for them over against the bradford side who come to us on the back of two wins and two defeats in the past four games. 42% form over the last six. The biggest win for Bradford over Hartlepool, 2-0 win. The biggest win in the way, a 5-0 win. Uh, actually, Bradford has scored 11 goals compared to about Hartlepool's 17 over the course of those 10 matches. Works out about 1.1 goal a game for Bradford, 
seven goals a game for Hartlepool. Hartlepool haven't won in the last 18 games. Wow, wow, wee wow. Last time I played each other, of course, over at Hartlepool, it was a 2 0 win for Bradford back in March 2022. Bradford, of course, uh, lost last time around against Colchester midweek. Hartlepool with a 0 draw at home to Tranmere. The odds here, though, 50 to 8 is your Hartlepool, 23 10 is your 5 to 4 is your away win. That is, of course, Bradford City. I'm back in, of course, Bradford City to get an away day win here. And, of course, uh, in a big week for them as they take on Rovers, of course, in the cup. Meanwhile, Barrow up against Harrogate Town. That's right. Uh, Barrow are flying high. Uh, I guess Harrogate side who are not doing great at the moment. Played each other 21 times since 2005. Five wins for Barrow, eight wins for Harrogate. And we've got eight draws, of course. Barrow, though, winning four of the last five. 67 percent form for them. I guess Harrogate side who one, two, lost two, and draw two over the last six. Uh, the biggest win for Harrogate over Barrow. Three near win. The biggest win, the way, a 4 2 win. Uh, Barrow scored 32 goals compared to Harrogate's 37 over the course of the 21 matches. Works out about 1.52 goals a game for Barrow, 1.76 for Harrogate moving forward. Last around, though, over in uh, Barrow is a nil nil draw back in February 2022. Uh, and of course, Harrogate coming to his on the back of a win, though, against Gilliam. Uh, actually, been uh, uh, back to back clean sheets for them. Barrow, though, I pick up a cheeky win over Walsall 2 1 over in Barrow last time around. The odds here 11 of 10 is your Barrow, 21 to 10 is your Harrogate Town, 23 of 10 is your draw. Back in, of course, Barrow here at home. There, there's something moving there, something bubbling perhaps under the water over at Barrow. Colchester United against Leighton Orient, of course, Colchester United. Uh, where are they in the table? Uh, they are actually uh, not doing great 15th at the moment. Of course, Leighton Orient are flying high in amongst that pack of four clubs with 10 points. Played to the 25 times since 2008 here. 14 wins to Colchester, 8 wins to Leighton Orient, and 3 draws. A Colchester just won defeat the past four for them. 50% form over the last six. 1 2 lost two and drawn two. Of course, up against Leighton Orient, who've lost just once in the last six games. 67% form with them moving forward. The biggest win for the Orient over Colchester, 3 0 win. The biggest win in the way, a 3 1 win. An Orient have only scored 29 goals compared to Colchester's 35. Others, of course, are 25 matches. Works out about 1.4 goals a game for Colchester, 1.16 goals a game for Leighton Orient. That's the picture that over in Colchester was a 2 2 draw back in March 2022. Uh, actually, Colchester unbeaten against Leighton Orient over the last six occasions, picking up four wins and a couple of draws. Of course, they do come to the other back of the window over Bradford. Uh, and of course, uh, that was back in uh, on the 16th of August. Leighton Orient with a 1 1 draw against Swindon Town. The odds here, though, 2 to 1 is your Colchester, 23 10 is your draw, 6 to 5 is your away win. I'm back in the Orient here, 2 1 win for them on the road to take the three points. Croyley up against uh, Wimbledon, of course, coming at you this weekend. Pleasure the 12 times to 2009. Five wins to Croyley, 14 wins to Wimbledon, and three draws. Of course, Corley, though, just one defeat past three for them, 25% form. Over the last six, 42% form, though, for Wimbledon, uh, without a win in four, though. Uh, just one win in six games. The biggest win for Wimbledon over Crawley was a 3-1 win. The biggest win, anyway, a 5-1 win. Uh, Wimbledon has scored 18 goals compared to Crawley's 21 over the course of the 12 matches. Works out about 1.5 goals a game for Wimbledon, 1.75 goals a game for Crawley. Last time around, though, in Crawley was a 2-1 win for Wimbledon back in August 2015. That was in League Two. And Wimbledon coming to the top of the back of that seven-goal thriller against Manchester, losing the 5-2. Crawley also losing a five-goal thriller to Northampton Town back on the 16th of August. The odds for this one, though, we got Crawley 11 8 for the reaching 9 5 is your Wimbledon. 11 5 is your draw. 0 0 in the end. Crawley picking up a point. Wimbledon will be looking for more than that. Crew Alexandra up against Northampton Town coming at you at Gristy Road, I believe. I played that 18 times. done three, six wins apiece and six draws. The mark of the beast. That's right. Crew coming to this on the back of three wins and three defeats of the last six games. 50% form up against the Northampton Town side who have just lost once in the past five. 58% form over the last six. The biggest win for Northampton Town over Crew 6 2 win. The biggest win of the way, a 2 0 win. Uh, Crew have scored 25 goals compared to Northampton. Towns 35 over the course of those 18 matches. Works out about 1.39 goals a game for Crew, 1.94 goals a game for Northampton Town. Last round, though, over at Gresty Road, there was a 2 1 win for uh, Crew. That was in League One back in December 2020. Uh, Crew did beat uh, Sutton United last round at home. Uh, and actually, have got 100% uh, success rate over at Gresty Road since the start of the season and yet to concede a goal over there. Meanwhile, Northampton Town picked up a 3 2 win against Crawley on the road. Uh, and we'll look to extend that winning run into this game as well. Looking at the odds here, we have 2 1 is your Crew, 11 10 is your Northampton, 5 2. Is your draw. Going to go with a big 3-1 win here for Northampton Town. Unfortunately, crew, you're going to take the L on this one. Doncaster uh, up against Salford, of course, at the keep moat. Let's get into the tabletop of Salford going up against uh, Doncaster. Who, where are they in the table? They're currently seventh at the moment. Never played each other these two sides. Doncaster, though, coming to this, just one defeat of the past six games. 67% form up against the Salford side. Just one defeat of the past six for them. 75% form for them moving forward. Salford did beat Newport County last time around. 3-2 win. They've actually scored six goals in the past two games combined. Doncaster coming to this on the back of a 2-1 win over Stockport County over at the keep moat. And again, uh, 100% success success rate so far at the key mode and the league. Let's take a look at the yards then, shall we? We've got Doncaster 90 to 10, but they're actually 30 to 10. It's your Sulphur and it's 11 to 5. Is your draw. I'm back in, of course, Doncaster here. 2 1 win for them. And again, a win for them. They could mathematically go top of the league. Uh, that's right. Gillingham are in trouble up against Walsall, who took a wobble this past midweek. Now, these two sides have played each other for the 25th time, the previous 24. Five wins for Gillingham, 10 wins for Walsall, and we've got nine draws. Gillingham, though, won three, lost three over the last six. That's 50% form up against the Walsall side, who are coming to us on back to back uh, uh, winless affairs uh, score. But 75% form over the last six. The biggest win for Walsall over Gillingham, a 
3-0 win. The biggest win for Gillingham over Walsall, a 3-0 win. Uh, Gillingham scored 22 goals compared to Walsall's 27 over the course of the 24 matches. Works on about 0.92 goals a game, 1.13 goals a game for Walsall. Uh, let's take a look at the odds then, shall I get to the odds in a minute? Of course, Walsall uh, did beat Gillingham last time around at Gillingham back in January 2019. That was in League One. Uh, Gillingham, of course, uh, coming to us on the back of back-to-back -back goalless affairs for them. Uh, so they're having trouble finding the back of the net. Uh, they did lose to Harrogate last time around. Also did lose to, to Barrow. And of course, uh, it's been a couple of games since they last won. Uh, six to five is Gilliam at two to one is your, your also twelve to five is your draw. Gilliam in a bit of a wobble here, but they'll score one one in the end to take the point. Stevenage up against Carlisle. Of course, Stevenage are flying high with Steve Evans at the helm. Up against Paul Simpson's Carlisle. Played the twenty four times to seven five eight was the Stevenage twelve was Carlisle four draws. Of course, Stevenage though winning four in the last five eighty three percent form for them. Up against the Carlisle side just one three past six fifty eight percent form for them moving forward. The biggest win for Carlisle over Stevenage four 0 win. The biggest win in the way a three 0 win. Uh, twenty three goals scored by Stevenage over the course of the twenty four matches. Thirty goals scored by Carlisle in the same matches. Works out about 1.25 goals a game for Carlisle, 0 0.96 goals a game for Stevenage. Stevenage, though, haven't lost in the last 10 games and haven't lost any of the last 8 home matches. And they're on a 3-game winning run, though, of course, last time they played each other at Stevenage, it was a 2 0 win for Carlisle back in December 2021. That was in League 2. Carlisle coming to the on the back of that 1-1 draw at home to Swindon. Stevenage with a 1-0 win over Rochdale at home as well. Look at the odds here. Stevenage, of course, 11-8 on for the Rigs. 11-4 is draw. 3-1 is your away win here. Back in Stevenage, of course, they look good right now. 2-0 win for Steve Evans. Boys, Grimsby Town up against Sutton United, of course, should take place over at Grimsby this coming Saturday. Play each other never. This will be the first time. Grimsby, though, just one defeat past six for Paul Hurst Boys. 67% form for them. I guess Sutton United side, just one defeat. So actually one win in the last six games. 25% form for them moving forward. Last time around, of course, Sutton United did lose to Crew. That was on match number uh, four. Grimsby, of course, one they went over Rochdale. That was in match number three. Uh, they're actually gone back to back games now without conceding a goal. Conceded just one goal. No, no. Uh, back to back games without a goal. We'll, we'll leave it at that. We'll leave it at that. Of course, the odds for this one then, shall we? Grimsby, 11 to 10 for the Richie, 11 to 5 is your Sutton. Of course, 23 to 10 is your draw. Back in Grimsby here with another squeaky one they win for them. And of course, three points to keep them moving forward. Mansfield Town look good, uh, don't they? Of course, back to any ways. Up against Stockport County, of course, who have yet to really get going. 12 times they've played since 2002. Three wins to Stockport, seven wins to Mansfield, and two draws, of course. Mansfield have won three, lost three over the last six, 50% form. Stockport County won three, lost three over the last six, 50% form as well. Biggest win for Stockport County over Mansfield, 2 1 win. The biggest win the other way for Mansfield over Stockport, 4 1 win. Uh, Stockport County scores 16 goals compared to Mansfield's 25 over the course of those 12 matches. Works out around about 1.33 goals a game for Stockport, 2.0 goals, 2.08 goals for Mansfield heading into this. Last time though, over in Mansfield, it was a 4 1 win for Mansfield back in March 2013. That was in, of course, the Vanarama National League. Mansfield, of course, in that seven-goal thriller against Wimbledon last time around. Of course, Stockport did lose to Doncaster on the road uh, last time around. The odds coming at you, though, we have... Uh, where are you? Mansfield, 65 for the Richie, 90 to 10 is your Stockport, and 12 to 5 is your draw. 3 to 1 win for uh, Mansfield here. And again, Stockport taking another battering uh, as they wake up to life in the EFL. Newport County up against Tramier Rovers, of course. Placed on the nine times, 2014. Two wins for Tramier, four wins for Newport County. Three draws. Of course, just one win, six though for Newport County right now. 33% form up against the Tramier side. Unbeaten in the last three games, 42% form for them moving forward. The biggest win for Tramway over Newport County, just the one near win. The biggest win in the other way, a 4 2 win. Uh, Tramway scored five goals compared to Newport County's eight over the course of those nine matches. Works out about, about, about 0.89 goals a game compared to 0.56 goals a game for Tramier. Last time around, of course, over in uh, Wales, it was a 4 2 win for Newport County back in February 2022. Of course, Newport County did lose to Salford last time around. Of course, Tramway just the nil nil draw against Hartlepool on the road. Uh, looking at the odds on this one, then shall we? Newport County coming at you 11 to 10 on for the Rigsby 5 2 is draw and 5 2 is your away win here. 2 1 win for me for Newport. County and Tramier taking the L on this one. And wrap it up, wrap it up. It's Swindon Town up against Rochdale, of course. Locking horns uh, again for the 15th, 16th time, of course. To, uh, uh, they have played each other 15 times previous uh, since 2006. Five wins for Swindon, four wins for Rochdale, six draws. Swindon, though, without a win in the last six games, 25% form. I guess the Rochdale side just one win in six. Uh, of course, 70% form for them. They are in a bit of trouble right now, and I am actually concerned for their fate. Uh, last time I played at Swindon, it was a 2 2 draw back in the October 2021. That was in League Two. Uh, the Wayside hasn't won this game. Uh, since uh, Swindon beat Rochdale in Rochdale, back in the Spotlands, of course, April 2015. Uh, Rochdale did lose to Stevenage back-to-back -back games without a goal now. Swindon, of course, back-to-back 1-1 -back draws heading into this. The odds here, we have 2017 on is your Swindon, 5-2 to is draw, 13-5 is your Rochdale. I think Rochdale could go down, guys. 2-0 no win in the end for Swindon Town. That is, of course, my Picaroonies for this weekend's action. Be sure to get your own Picaroonies using the old uh, 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 link in a second. But if I'm right, which I probably will hope so, this is what the table will look like. Northampton Town will be tipping the top of the table with Stevenage later on.
for it, uh, of course, the three uh, going up as it stands. Barra, of course, the team to watch. Dark Horses FC, and of course, this is the link. Cutley Forshaw's lead two. Get in the monster, get your name and lights, and of course, we'll see you uh, early next week for the next round of matches. But that, my friends, is all I've got for you. Be sure to give us some love and smash your thumbs up, smash your subscribe. Check out the links down below, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, and all that kind of jazz, and I'll see you soon for the next one, whenever that is. But until then, we're done.